Donald Trump wants to talk about process. He wants to talk about how much money he raised. He wants to attack people. He wants to talk about how well he's doing. He wants to talk about all these side issues. Hillary Clinton is talking about her plan, what her, what, what she, where she wants to take the country. They had four days in which they tried to scare people. We had four days in which we talked about the future. That's why I think the poll numbers are turning for Hillary. Hillary Clinton is also talking about her emails in a similar way as she has. Well, listen, I really think you mischaracterized. I, 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 I want to ask David Gergen about this because because we've heard your argument. Richard Sakharini says that Hillary Clinton continues to be truthful. That's his argument about the email. She says that <coughs> FBI Director James Comey says that she told the truth to the American people, even though FBI Director James Comey said nothing of the sort in his testimony. Well, that's Gergen, not really not exactly true, but go ahead. He did. He said he was asked directly. You know, were, were classified I mean, emails sent to I think you're he trying no. to split hairs here. And what she, what Comey said is that she was completely truthful to the FBI. Full stop. And she, he's, he, yes. he said that. Yes. But yes. And then those are the questions that you played in the setup piece. I, I mean, I think Joe, you, you said something at the beginning, introducing the setup piece, suggesting that she had not been truthful. Then Joe Johnson, the piece explains. That there that that there are some nuances she here. Said twice. She said she yeah, never yeah, sent. She, she said was two very things. clear she that there were nuances. Things. She here. said two things that she had never sent emails marked classified. Before that, she had said she had never sent classified emails. Period. And, and period. Director Comey. Uh, and Director Comey lied to the Benghazi phone. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Because FBI Director James Comey said flat out she did send emails and received that were classified. Did Three, you, I, I just want to have one more voice on this, Richard, because I want David to weigh in here, because you've observed the Clintons for a long, long time. You've seen the answers she's been giving this week about this, and it fits a pattern. I, 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 I have a hard time dealing with it, because I do agree with you. You know, there, there, were, there were clearly just like nuances. There were discrepancies. There were basic differences what David, Comey three, said. Three emails, no, we're not just three emails with emails. a little marking, okay? Yes, that, really, that, 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 that the FBI, that the really FBI director marking. said could have been Very hard to have an argument with you, yeah. Well, David, okay. but it's very hard to have an argument yeah. with you when you're not telling the truth. Okay. Richard, you're doing a disservice to your yeah. candidate by not being willing to acknowledge basic I wish he would confront Hillary when he's confronting David. David, why don't you leave it? It's my view. You can have your view. Uh, it's my view that there are serious discrepancies between what the FBI director found and what she's been saying publicly. And I think it's a fair conclusion that she ought to be much more careful in what she's saying. And what she says goes beyond what the facts support uh, on the trail. I don't know why. Peter goes to the question, and I've had this issue with for a long time. I think, I think Hillary Clinton is an admirable person. I think she's, there are a lot of things about her I really admire. I, but I also think she has a blind spot in some of these areas, and I don't know why she can't get off some of these. I'm going to stop right there. This is not her first time. I'm going to stop right here, Richard. We're going to leave it right there. Everyone has had a say in this discussion, and then some. I really appreciate all of you being here with me tonight.